about that, y'all. It cut me off. I'm gonna have to figure out figure out this cutout thing. I think it's too much storage in my in my in my phone or what have you that I I need to remove. But downtown San Francisco, I'm right alongside Charlie Cars. My GPS is telling me, you know, I need to stop, get off this highway, get off here. <laughs> you know, this that the other. Eventually, I wiggle my way out of there and headed back on the Bay Bridge, back over to Oakland. Um, up the highway and got to a pilot. I told my homeboy that day, this is it. I'm done. I'm going home because that was nerve wracking. I was like, no, I'm going home. It's over. I'm done. <laughs> Ain't no talking me out of it. He said, oh, you'll be all right. That, all that's going to do is just help you uh, strengthen your skills. This, that, I was like, oh, no. Uh -uh. I'm not going through this no more. Whatever. I'm going home. They need to send me a loan back to Kansas City. I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> And he just, all he did was just laugh at me and just brush it off and say, you know, you be all right. You know, you just that, you ain't going nowhere. You be all right. You know, but at that time, y'all, I was done. I'm like, no, whatever. And here I am six years later. But still, I was, <laughs> that particular day, I was done. I was like, no, no, no more of this trucking thing for me. I cannot be going up and down hills, sliding down mountains, all this different kind of stuff. And then downtown San Francisco get stuck down there. I'm like, no, y'all can have this blah 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 my homeboy was like whatever so yeah he's right I, after i slept it off <laughs> after i slept it off that next day got up got me alone and continue to run and, and you know what have you but i say that to say this as rookie drivers you know don't limit yourself if you're otr uh be willing to explore different parts of the united states now uh, now i did the idaho thing one time I, at that time i said no i'm not going back to idaho uh no but that kills this no i'm not gonna <laughs> Swift is not sending me back there, so and I've never been back since then. But what I'm saying is, always be open to explore different parts of the country. You know, I grew up just Midwest and South. I had never been to the Northwest, so I've been there. I've seen it. Okay, it is what it is. I know in May up in the mountains, it's a blizzard going on. So, so I, I knew, I know that now. But um, just to show just how, na how naive I was at the time, or what have you. So, but uh, my OTR days, when I, like I said, I was a year and a half at Swift. I had a ball. I mean, I went wherever Swift took, wherever Swift told me to go, that's where I went. So I truly enjoyed myself. So also, I will see you guys Saturday at Gats. I will be there Saturday, uh, probably around 11 or, or 12 or what have you. But I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of you on Saturday at the Great American Truck Show in Dallas, Texas. And also again, check out my Instagram, Fun Miss Pearl. I have many pictures of my of my history. Like I said, I didn't record anything, but I do have plenty of pictures. So I hope to hear to see you some of you guys on Saturday. And please check out the rest of my videos. If you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. I love you. Virtual hug. And watch some of my previous videos. And let me know what you think. Give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. And if you are new out here, welcome to the trucking community. If you're a female, new female trucker, I will highly advise, you know, find a mentor, another female trucker mentor that's been out here a while that can might teach you a few things, give you a few tips on some things and be willing to listen and be willing to learn. So that's my advice to you. Everybody be safe out there today. Mwah. Love you. Peace, family.